Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ebook Cooks. My name is An, and as you can tell, today's setup is a bit different. There's no Sufon, there's no Kiara. I'm usually behind the camera for Ebook Cooks, but because we're all working from home, so today I'll be in front and behind the camera as well. So today we'll be recreating something really special. It's from my childhood. If you are a 90s kid, it will be from your childhood as well. And it is none other than the Club Penguin Pizza. I used to play club penguin back in my primary school days. It's like after school, I come back home, I'll play either club penguin or Neopets. And by the way, we also recreated Neopets omelette, which you can check out here. Yeah. But club penguin was actually taken down a few years ago because not many people are playing with it, I guess. However, during this whole quarantine period, suddenly it came back. Like it just revived from the dead. And the hype for club penguin is back, everybody is playing with it again. Even I created a new account just to relieve some of my childhood, which is what inspired us to recreate a club penguin pizza. If you are a club penguin addict like me, you have known that for the pizza tron game, they actually have two types of pizza. One is the normal pizza where you just add the shrimps, the squids, and the fish. And there's also another one which is called the candy pizza. You basically just have to click the lever at the side and then it will switch to candy pizza mode. So today we'll be recreating both the normal pizza and the candy pizza. I'm excited so let's get started. So here are the ingredients for the normal pizza and the challenge is that I have to add every single ingredient given to create two different flavors. So first up, I'm gonna spread the ketchup as the base like a typical pizza followed by a generous amount of mozzarella cheese. Sorry that the cheese looks a bit gross here cause I had to grate them beforehand and it started clumping together. But it's okay, don't judge a cheese based on its looks. Next up, I'm gonna add some salmon as the topping. In the game, they just stated fish in general, but I chose salmon because I love salmon. You can add any kind of fish you like, it's really up to your preference. Then, I'm gonna add seaweed on top of the salmon. So now I'm done with the first half, the next one I'm gonna add the hot sauce. I have no idea how spicy this will be but it says volcanic hot sauce so bless my tongue. Next up I'm gonna spam the cheese and hopefully it will help to counter the spice. Following that will be the squid and the prawns. So the final touch for both pizzas will be adding more mozzarella cheese because the more the merrier. Cheese, I love cheese, you love cheese, everybody loves cheese. Unless you are lactose intolerant. Now let's set the pizza in the oven and let it bake for 15 minutes at 210 degrees celsius. In the meantime, let's start assembling the candy pizza. Here are all the ingredients just like the game but we excluded licorice because Singaporeans don't really eat them anyway. For the first half, I'm spreading the strawberry jam. I know the game used pink icing but it's not readily available so strawberry jam is an alternative. And instead of cheese, the candy mode actually uses rainbow sprinkles so just sprinkle a generous amount like how you will for cheese. And next, I'm gonna sprinkle a generous amount of chocolate chip as the final topping cause if I add it with the Nutella, it's just gonna blend it together. I'm guessing jelly beans might go well with the strawberry jam since they are both fruity flavours. And on to the next half which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna spam the Nutella spread all over the pizza base because I super love Nutella. Same thing, just scatter the rainbow sprinkles all over it and now I'm gonna add the marshmallows. This is inspired from s'mores and I'm really looking forward to try this cause Nutella plus marshmallows, it can't go wrong right? So now let's set the pizza in the oven and bake it for 15 minutes too. Okay guys, so both my pizzas are ready and I would like to say that the normal one does look pretty appetizing. Smells wise, it's quite promising as well. However, as for the candy pizza, <laughs> I'm so sorry but um, I don't know if you can see this. But I kind of screwed it up, I'm so sorry, oh my god. Um, I think cause like I left it in the oven, like I didn't really check on it. I left it in for 15 minutes but everything just overflowed. <laughs> like the marshmallow just expanded until so big, like it looked like a month hole already. Eh. And then now it's just like a flattened piece of Cao Ta marshmallow I guess. But it's okay, let's try how it is. I'm gonna try the salmon one with ketchup. Because I scared later the spicy one would like ruin my taste buds. Mmm, mmm, the salmon one is nice. The salmon pizza is 
really good eh. Okay, honestly, I like to eat salmon. That's why I chose salmon for the fish. And the taste is really surprisingly not bad. I'm quite impressed. I feel like because the salmon flavor itself is pretty strong, so the seaweed is like quite subtle. And honestly, I don't think people put seaweed in their pizza, so... Nah, I'm not gonna put seaweed in my pizza. I'm just gonna add a salmon. Next one. Hey, this is the hot sauce with squid and shrimp. I don't know how spicy it will be, but my spice tolerance is pretty high, so let's try. It's prawn tail. I forgot the kick up. I need a spiciness level. Okay, wait, it's slowly kicking in. But it's still tolerable. But I think we added a lot of hot sauce. If you love eating spicy food, I think this one is for you. Let me try the squid. I haven't tried the squid yet. The prawn is not too bad. To be honest, the hot sauce literally covered all the flavours. The prawn and the squid is just like added textures. The prawn is still crunchy. The squid is like chewy but not too chewy that I have to pull it apart. But overall, I think it's not too bad. It's just that you cannot taste anything besides hot sauce. Okay. I think it's time to try the filled dessert pizza. I mean, the dessert pizza looks a bit gross but I made it so I'll still eat it. Don't waste. Okay, yeah, it's because right, everything overflowed, right? That's why I cannot even take it out from the baking paper properly. Which is why I'm cutting it on the baking paper now. Let's try the one that looks the least appetizing one, which is the one with the strawberry jam, jelly beans, and chocolate chips. The taste is damn confusing. I feel like I just ate a melon jelly bean. But then it has a strawberry jam taste. And then it has chocolate also. And now my brain is just confused. And the texture is super chewy. Okay, maybe because I bit onto the jelly bean. But mm, not something that I like. Jelly beans and pizza is a no go, man. Why do they even think of putting jelly beans on pizza? Nah, I'm not gonna eat this. The other one, I'm quite excited. It's basically Nutella and marshmallows. I mean, how, how can that go wrong, right? Besides it being flat now. <laughs> the final pizza. It looks, doesn't matter, right? I hope. <laughs> this one, ah, is even more chewy than the jelly bean one. I think the marshmallow really like melted throughout the whole pizza. But every bite I take, I need to chew and chew and chew. And when I pull apart, it's like damn hard. But even though it's damn chewy, but I think the taste is still nicer than the one with the jelly bean. Like, I will eat chocolate and pizza and marshmallows together because it's like just smells. Okay, now that I'm done taste testing my own pizza, so I'm gonna get my family to come and help me try and see what are their comments because we're not in the office so I cannot ask office people so I only have my family members. First up, I'm gonna ask my sister. Neil! It's not that bad. Edible. Not something I'll eat again but edible. You don't like to eat salmon right? I like. It's not like that. Not with tomato. Try the next one. The hot sauce one. Is it spicy for you? It's spicy. <laughs> okay. Not overcooked. But it's just spicy as well. Which one do you prefer? That base with this. What? Like tomato sauce with the liao on. But it's a little bit spicy. I don't need to finish one for myself. Do you want to try? <laughs> The filled one. I try a nice one. <laughs> Don't do this. You think of it as toast, you know, breakfast toast. No. Hey, do you eat with the jelly bean? Oh, no, I haven't. Eat with the jelly bean. Will you ever add jelly bean on your pizza? No. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. Oh, now I get diabetes. It's damn sweet, right? Yeah, I don't want it. Oh, I should put. Mentaiko. That is not part of Club Penguin. But yeah, I have mentaiko sauce at home. Okay, now I have my father here to try. Can you try, yeah? Yes. Hmm. The salmon tastes very nice. Overall, does it taste nice? It's uh, salty, but I like it. It's with like hot sauce. Really nice overall. Very nice, but very spicy. Very, very spicy. <laughs> Do you prefer this one or the other one? I prefer the other one. This one's too spicy. This one don't need the other one don't need to try that one not nice. Oh, okay, that's all. Right. Yeah. Okay, so overall I guess it's like half fail, half success. I think the savory one kinda of passed because honestly the taste is not too bad. I personally still love the salmon one, but I would rather have it with the hot sauce because I like spicy food. My sister thinks that it's too fishy. 
but my father prefers the salmon too. I guess you guys can try to recreate this at home. As for the sweet ones, even though I failed, I feel like jelly beans should still not be on pizzas. Like that's just weird. Okay, no, no, don't put it on pizzas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail, but you know, all humans fail. I mean, what am I saying? All humans fail. No, no, no. I mean like, it's normal to fail. Yes, it's normal to fail. <laughs> so as usual, if you guys are recreating any of these pizzas, do tag us on Instagram at eatbooksg. And thank you for watching this episode of Eatbook Cooks. If you like this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! I miss Kiara and I miss Sufon and I miss everybody. <laughs>